Today you're going to learn how to create your YouTube banner on Canva. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing that you want to do is sign up for Canva. Canva is free. It allows you to edit videos, to create graphics, to make documents, and it's a really cool creative tool that a lot of creatives actually use. I would recommend to actually upgrade to the Canva Pro version because it allows you to utilize features that the free version doesn't, and I personally use the pro version almost every single day but you can get away with just utilizing the free version in the top right hand corner there's a create a design button you're going to go ahead and click on that and then you're going to type youtube banner now the first one that should populate is youtube banner go ahead and select that and then in the top right hand corner you can see here it says untitled design youtube banner you're going to go ahead and just name it so that you can find it easily so i'm going to type in youtube banner when you upload your banner to youtube this is the size that it's going to ask for and if we look at my youtube channel you can see that the banner is actually slimmer than what it looks like right here so what i do is i actually have a template that i use when i recreate my banner so what I would recommend to do is actually download the template. It's for free and you can find it in my description down below. When you upload it to your Canva, it's going to be under the uploads option. Click on uploads. You're gonna go ahead and click on upload files and then you're gonna go ahead and find the file that you wanna upload and click open and then it will upload here. As you can see, I already have the template and it's right here. Select the image, click and drag the corners out so that it fits perfectly with the frame. I focus mainly on viewable on desktop and viewable on all devices. So on the left hand side we have design. Um, there's already some templates that are on here um, for YouTube. So the easiest way to go about it is to select a template and then to just edit it however you need. This is what it would look like. And I actually think that looks great. I would probably change the sizing a bit and then I would go ahead and upload that. If you wanna go ahead and create it from scratch, then we're gonna go back to the template. What I like to do is I like to click on the template. I like to select transparency right here. And then I like to dim it down just so that I can kind of see the guideline, but it's dim enough for me to just focus on my design itself. On the left hand side, you can see we have the elements option. So elements allows you to add in shapes. It allows you to add in graphics, like maybe pictures of cats or a graphic of like a phone or something like that. So whatever you have an idea of, all you have to do is type it into the search elements. So let's say I want to have an iPhone on here. I'm going to type in phone and then we can see that there's um, templates of phones on here. Some of the graphics you cannot use if it has the crown on it that says pro unless you have the pro version of Canva which is why I recommend to upgrade to Canva Pro because sometimes there's some really good graphics on here or some really good features and you want to use it but you can't because you're not invested in the pro version. Let's say I want to use this right here. This is an iPhone and then I want to size it down to make sure that it's viewable on all devices. And then what you can do is just mess around with it and you can even add in your own photo. I'm gonna go ahead and click on text. If you want it to be as easy as possible, you can just click one of these and then you can change the words. Let's do, let's get groovy. But let's say you want to go ahead and just add in your own text and customize it however you want it to without using one that was pre-made. So we're gonna go back to text and then we're gonna go ahead and click on add a text box, which is at the top of the side panel. And at the top of your page, if you click on the text, you can see there's different ways that you can customize the font. I'll edit it the way that I like it and then you can just kind of watch as I do that. So my channel is called by Chrissy Walker. And then I like 
the word by to be different from cursy walker so i'm going to make this some type of cursive if you change the font style you can actually type in like a style you're looking for and then it will um, populate different options for you so i'm going to go ahead and type in cursive let's try this one and then change this one to more of like a corporate look or maybe something similar and then what we're going to do here is we're going to add in another text box and then I'm going to put the um, niche of my channel content. You can even put like your tagline. Just, I want to go ahead and actually change the background color just to see what it looks like. So what you're going to do is just move the template to the side, click on the blink background and then change the background color. I think I'll leave it like this and then just move the template back. Uploads is where you added your template, but you can also add in your own photos. So let's say I want to have a photo of myself in the phone right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just click on a photo of myself and then I'm going to resize it just by dragging in the corners. And then sometimes you can drag the photo to the graphic and it will sync into the graphic, but in this case it won't. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually move the phone over here and then I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to try to put in the photo to where it matches its size. So I think that looks good. So what you're gonna do now is I'm going to select the photo. I'm going to click on position at the top and then I'm going to click on backward. And when I do that, it brings it behind the phone and then you can see here that it looks like a photo of me in the phone. If you want to change how the photo is framed, all you have to do is double click on the photo and then you can move it around however you'd like. And then if you want to add other unique characteristics, then all you have to do is go to elements and then add whatever you want. Like for me, let's say we do sparkles. So let's say we add this in and then I want it to be Maybe black I can add it in like that and then just copy um, duplicate it multiple times so that it's distributed in the entire banner and then if you zoom in you can see that the stars overlay my photo so what I want to do is I'm going to click on the stars select position and then click on backward or to back just so that it's not interfering with that and let's say this is what I want it to look like. So what I'm going to do is click on share and then click on download. You're going to download as is and then you want to make sure you just know exactly where you save your download. So I'm going to test it on my YouTube channel just to make sure that it fits well um, and the quality is good. I'm going to go ahead and select customize channel. It's going to take me to the YouTube creator studio. And then you're going to select branding at the top. You'll scroll down and then select change where it says banner image. And then you're going to select your banner. So then if we're looking at this, we can tell that it's going to fit. So we're gonna go ahead and click on done, publish. And then you're gonna go ahead and select view channel. And then this is what it would look like. The only thing is I forgot to take out the template because you can see that the template is still dimmed in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Canva. I'm gonna go ahead and select the image. Just make sure that it is the image, which you can see it is. And then you're just gonna delete it. While I'm looking at this, I think that it seems a bit too small, the words, the text. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enlarge it. And then I also want to make my photo and the graphic of the phone bigger as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and download it again. This is what you'll need to do when you're just testing it out just to make sure that it fits well.
and then just to make sure that it looks the way that you want it to look. I'm gonna click done, publish, and view channel. And done, I think that looks great the way it is. It's straight to the point, it has the name of my channel, it has what I do on my channel, which is a content creation for beginners. Um, there's a photo of myself on a phone because content creation usually happens on a phone. And I think that looks perfectly fine. And you just have to remember that when you save your file, you wanna make sure you put it in a place where you'll remember where it is. And then what you're gonna do next is you're gonna click on this video here and I'll see you in that video. Bye.